Morai wense ya Kenya. in trade, tourism, cultural exchange, and to achieve lasting change, we must invest in economic growth and social connectivity. This is why Prime Minister Cornell and I discussed concrete steps to enhance trade and boost investment between our two nations. We envision a future where Kenya and Haiti, as well as the larger Caribbean region, are linked not only by shared values of democracy and rule of law, but also by dynamic economic exchanges to create jobs, spur innovation, and uplift communities. As we work together, we reaffirm our commitment to multilateralism as a powerful force for good. However, we recognize that global governance structures must evolve to reflect today's realities, our shared challenges from climate change to food security demand institutions that are resilient, responsive, and equitable. Kenya and Haiti believe in the need for reform that realigns our institutions to serve the needs of all nations, ensuring a more just and sustainable world. In this spirit, we also champion the strengthening of ties between the Africa Union and the Caribbean community, regarded as the sixth region of Africa. By forging these alliances, we seek to enhance South-South cooperation and build a more interconnected, prosperous, and resilient uh, global community. In closing, Mr. Prime Minister, I extend my gratitude to you for your visit and for the spirit of collaboration that has characterized our discussions today. Haiti is a great inspiration to Africa, you became the first black republic.